Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every video. So subscribe for an extra greeting. I'm very excited about today's video. So is Kiwi. Shut up! <laughs> very stoked. You know, we were all kids at one point, you know? That's the one thing we all have in common. A while ago, we were younger. And if you're like me, when you were a kid, you watched a lot of television. Like, a, like a way, like way too much. And you know, kids shows were a lot of fun back in the day, you know, but they were also very weird. Like for example, SpongeBob was probably the best kids TV show ever made, but explaining the plot of SpongeBob to someone who's never heard of it before, they'd call the cops on you because you would concern them with how crazy you sound. Oh, so SpongeBob, yeah, there's like this uh, sea sponge who lives in a bikini bottom. He lives in a pineapple and his best friend is a, is a, is a starfish who lives under a rock and his friend is a karate squirrel who lives who okay. is in an astronaut uh, suit but he also flips burgers at the crusty crab and his boss is a crab and there's a and there's a plankton who's trying to steal the recipe all, right. all the time and his his neighbor squidward hates okay. him but he plays a clarinet um it, it's pretty it's pretty great to be honest that sounds really weird i'm gonna i'm gonna watch something else no no but wait the crab's daughter is a whale most kid shows were very weird but one in particular was extremely weird. And that weird show is what we're gonna be talking about today. So sit down, nerds. <laughs> Take a seat, geeks. Seat Geek, that reminds me. I wanna say a huge thank you to Seat Geek for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Seat Geek, it is an amazing app where you can find tickets to comedy shows, sporting events, concerts, and literally anything that you need a ticket for, it'll be on SeatGeek. Every ticket has a rating from one to 10 to let you know if you're getting a good deal on your ticket or not. In the app, it'll show you what you'll actually be seeing from your seat so you know what you're getting when you actually get your ticket. And you can get the ticket right on the app and show your phone right at the venue. So you don't need to worry about printing or anything or wasting paper, you know? Save those trees, dude. SeatGeek was kind enough to hook up the citizens of Curtistown with a really rad deal. If you use the code Curtistown, you get $20 off your first order. Yeah, $20, dude, gone, just like that. <laughs> so if you're a member of Curtistown and you want 20 bucks off your first order on SeatGeek, the link is in the description. All right, thank you, SeatGeek. Um, let's get into the video, dudes. The show that we're gonna be looking at today was called Uh-Oh. And I talked about Uh-Oh very briefly on my podcast like a few weeks ago, and I got a lot of messages from people that were just extremely baffled by this after they looked it up themselves. And that made me realize that Uh-Oh was never aired in America, only up here in the Great White North. Why does Great White North sound really racist now that I'm saying it out loud? The Great North. So we're gonna talk about Uh-Oh today and take a look at it, figure out what they were doing, what they were thinking when they made it because it's just so strange. And I'm really excited for you guys to learn about this if you haven't heard of it before. Before we watch the video, let's take a look at the Wikipedia page about Uh-Oh. Uh-Oh is a Canadian game show created by Rick Watts and Frank Young. The show aired from September 5th, 1997 to April 19th, 2003 on YTV. Uh, which fucking slapped. It was the best channel on TV and was a spinoff of the popular variety show It's Alive, which also aired on YTV. Now, I used to watch Uh-Oh all the time with my sisters. Like, no matter what we were doing, if Uh-Oh, if we knew Uh-Oh was on TV, we weren't doing what we were doing before. We were now gonna go watch Uh-Oh. Like, I have so many fond memories of watching that show when I was a kid, but now that I'm an adult and watching it back, it's very, very weird. weird. One might say it was the weirdest kid show ever made. You know, like the title of the video. <laughs> Without further ado, let's uh let's get into it. So, as you can see, it's the most late 90s show that's ever been made. And to go along with that, they had a whole cast of the most late 90s, early 2000s people you've ever seen. They also had another reoccurring character. This guy, dressed as a knockoff Jason Voorhees on a kid's show. Yeah, it's even weirder when you see him in person too. So get ready for that. So Uh-Oh was hosted by a man named Wink Yahoo. Wink Yahoo! 
I highly doubt that was his real name. <laughs> that would suck if it was. Like, I don't think Mr. and Mrs. Yahoo uh, just had their baby and they were like, <laughs> he's so cute, what do we name him? I don't know, we already have the dumbest last name ever. Let's give him an equally dumb first name. His arch nemesis is um, Blink Google. <laughs> Blink Google, I said, you know? Cause like, wink. And then Yahoo, the search engine, so Blink Google, okay. Okay, so Wink Yahoo was a very over-the-top game show host, obviously, but it's pretty clear that's what they were going for, like kind of like a parody of game show hosts and game shows in general. But even me, as a loud, annoying 10-year-old, was like, all right, Wink, dial it back a bit, you know? Show some restraint. Ooh. Wink Yahoo, do you think you are? Okay, so dumb. <laughs> So this next part of the show is probably the weirdest part of the whole thing. So let's watch. We must introduce to you the Punisher. <laughs> Punisher, Punisher, my goodness. Punisher, control, control Punisher. No more water Punisher. We'll grab a shower later. So this guy, dressed in all leather with a hockey mask on, comes out and just fucks with kids. <laughs> just squirts them with water and shit. Just messes with them. Like, that's what that guy's job was. That's what he got paid to do. He was to just bully kids. I don't know how I wasn't terrified by this when I was younger. Like, this is all like, you know, whoa, he's the Punisher, this is crazy. But with some simple editing, this can be a horror movie trailer. Watch. See, that's so scary. This next part is when they announce the prizes. And I love this part so much because it really shows you how little budget we have up in Canada for television programming. Let's see what these kids will be competing for. Our grand prize winners will receive a new butane freestyle snowboard from Rosignol. Catch some big air with this extremely high performance board that all the riders will enjoy. For our first runners up, CCM hockey jerseys. The official licensee of the National Hockey League. Second runners up receive. The Ultra Racer game console, the clear choice for serious PlayStation players. <laughs> a cool snowboard, hockey jerseys, and something for your PlayStation. What if you didn't like snowboarding or hockey or playing video games? Uh-oh. Oh my god, I get it now. <laughs> Uh-oh. So to those who haven't seen the show, this is how it worked. There were three teams of two, a blue team, a red team, and a green team. They would all spin the wheel to see what mini games they had to play to earn their team points. And then whatever team had the most points at the end won, obviously. You know, there were games like The Dump, that was like a weird Plinko spinoff. And then there was Speed Round, where you had to answer questions really quick. But the one that was my favorite was called Mayhem. Mayhem was great. Here's an amazing example of a mayhem. Time to break the pinata open, okay? So take this bath, stand on the box, you got 20 seconds to break it open, but you gotta remember that there are three packs of hubba bubble bubble gum in there that you gotta get to get those 50 points. Are you ready? I'm ready. Get set, go! Oh, watch out, you don't wanna hurt anybody. No, 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 manual, manual. Just little taps, little taps, little taps, little taps, little taps, buddy. Oh, oh! Just so dangerous, you know? <laughs> a kid's swinging a bat as hard as he can, literally like inches away from the heads of other children. Like so. Holy shit. Even like, even the host is like, okay, whoa, 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 stop. It light taps, all right? Just little taps, little taps, little taps. This is mayhem. <laughs> and if that wasn't scary enough, uh, here's, a, here's another example of a great mayhem. What I want you to do is I want you to mow down on this. 20 seconds will give the green team 50 points. Ready, go! Yeah! I need all in there! Like, you know that that host went home that night and stared herself in the mirror and was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I went to film school for four years, interned for two years just to do this? To yell at a girl to eat food and shove food in her face? You know, there's no way you can be a normal human after that. Eat it! No! Fucking eat the spaghetti, dude. Eat it! Come on, shove it in your face. Do it! This poor girl just wants to win some points, and this this late 90s girl is yelling at her. She can never eat spaghetti again. She can forget about spaghetti. <laughs> so mayhem, we got head injuries, Ooh. choking hazards. Ooh. 
scarred children. Uh-oh. Now, you're all probably wondering why the show was called Uh-oh. Other than all the big uh-ohs you say when you see all the, the dangers of it, but Uh-oh is an option that you can get on the wheel when you spin. So let's see what happens when you get Uh-oh. Okay, cool. So already, right off the bat, we got a, the grown man, Punisher, pulling a kid by her pigtails into a small, inescapable glass tube. That's fun and, and good. I think the Punisher is Miss Trunchbull's husband. <laughs> There's a conspiracy theory. Shane Dawson, do it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. So the, we all know the Punisher. We all know Miss Trunchbull. So after the kid is dragged into that tiny prison, the other kid has to answer a skill testing question like this. Okay, so I wanted to clear something up before you see this next clip. Uh, so the girl with pigtails, the other person got the question right. So all they really do is get points if that happens. And that's not entertaining. I want to show you what happens when they don't get points. So that's why there's a completely different kid in the inescapable glass tube. Okay, enjoy. Why do Mexican jumping beans jump? They have rhythm? Both? Uh, they have a bean moth larvae, that's what I meant, you can see it right there. See? Bubbling water or starch crackles. Starch crackles. Starch crackles. No, it's moth larvae. You're wrong. And he got it wrong. Uh-oh. So what happens? I refried some beans for you. <laughs> Obviously, the Punisher pours slime onto the kid who didn't even do anything wrong. That's the messed up part. If you're gonna pour slime on anyone, pour it on the kid who got the question wrong. He's the idiot. Start crackles. Same thing as before. This is all fun and games and it's filmed like, whoa, this is crazy and kooky. But with some simple editing, scary as shit. Watch. I really yes! oh, this is weird, okay? Trust me. It's weird that there's a, a gimp pouring slime on the helpless children, okay? And trust me, I'm not the only one who thinks this, okay? The man who played Wink Yahoo, whose real name is Scott Yaff, Scott Yaff? Scott, Scott. <laughs> he did an AMA on Reddit six years ago. Cause I was doing a bunch of research for this video, okay? I didn't wanna let, I don't wanna leave any stone unturned. And somebody asked if he was aware of how weird the concept of the Punisher was and that like weird sexual undertone of like, you know, being dressed in all leather and stuff. And he said, yes, okay? He said, yes, he knew it. A lot of people knew it. So I'm not weird for thinking that, okay? They're weird for doing it. That was basically, uh-oh, other than like this weird betting thing that they did on like some pre-recorded obstacle course challenge that a bunch of kids did in some random field in small town Canada. and. Guys, you had no idea how badly I wanted to be at one of those things. And I never did. I never, they, I was never, I never got to go to them. That's why I'm making this video. I'm bitter. <laughs> so a winner would be announced. Reds taking it all! They'd all go home with Hubba Bubba gum. Audience members are going home chewing Hubba Bubba. And I would just be so jealous of all the kids. They all look like they're having so much fun. You know, as strange and weird and dangerous as this show was, I love it so, so much. I'm commenting on how weird and strange it is, but there's something so pure and joyful about it that I honestly I can't really put into words. It didn't take itself seriously at all. It didn't try to be anything it wasn't. It was just a fun, crazy, stupid game show for kids to watch after school because, you know, math is tough. So you need something to be happy about. And I've watched so many episodes when researching for this video and the love that I have for that show is still there. It's not a nostalgic thing either. It's, the show is genuinely fun to watch. I feel like the 90s, early 2000s was such a strange time for kids television because I feel like that was a time where like technology was just starting to grow at like a really fast pace. And I think everybody on television and stuff was just trying their hardest to make something that could appeal to kids in that like ever-growing community. I'm so smart, look at my hands moving. You know, there wasn't really rules or anything, they just like needed to make something that was attention grabbing and fun and crazy, and uh-oh did that. In a world where kids watch other kids unbox toys, or watch some man scream about slime for entertainment, I don't think a show like Uh-Oh could exist now. What? And that makes me sad because I have so much love and fondness over this crazy dangerous game show. <laughs> but I figured most of my followers are from America and just, you know, other parts of the world where 
It's my duty as a Canadian to spread the word about this amazing show. If you guys have never heard of this show, there's a channel that has literally all the episodes on YouTube and I'll leave it in the description because it's something truly amazing. So do yourself a favor and watch a few episodes and um, just bask in the weird Canadian danger. WCD, weird Canadian danger. And if uh-oh ever comes back, maybe this video is the, the catalyst for that to happen. And if it ever does come back, I'm gonna be the next Wink Yahoo, okay? I'm gonna be Blink Google, and I'm gonna be there. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button and leave a comment, tell me what you thought. If you've ever seen Uh-Oh, let me know if you've seen it. If you uh, have never heard of it, tell me how fucking weird it is because it's uh, it's something else. Again, huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Uh, for 20 bucks off your first order, check out the description. And uh, yeah, get some money off, dude. Save that paper. That was, I'm sorry I said that, that was weird. Make sure to subscribe because I make a video every week and they're so much fun and you'll get an extra greeting at the beginning of every video. Who doesn't want that, dude? Tell me, tell me their name and I'll, and I'll yell at them. Check the description from my social media and stuff, links to my weekly podcast that I do called Very Really Good. It's a lot of fun, it's a great time. We just talk about a bunch of bull crap and it's a good, it's a good time, you know? And there's also a Patreon for that podcast where you can get early access to episodes for only a dollar a month, which is like, tw what, like, so nothing like cents a day and there's also a bonus monthly video episodes on there as well so check that out in the description and yeah i've been uh, curtis connor or blank google either or um thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week peace out hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more videos from me you can click on some right now on the screen and don't forget to press the other button to subscribe to me all right thank you so much see ya